Hello everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. I am recording this intro for probably the next 15 or so episodes because when this goes up, I will be in Italy. I've been editing like mad in order to get ready to go and have videos up for you guys while I'm gone. So I hope you guys enjoy this episode and all the ones coming up and the video will start in a second. All right, where? I was like, maybe I could bypass them? Is that Orpheus? Oh. Well, why would they? Why would they be in there trying to get him? Unless he's in there unwillingly. Oh, that's a big mind flare with fancy, a fancy shirt built into its neck. I thought Orpheus was a good guy. Now I'm concerned. Or if this maybe this isn't Orpheus. I don't know. Before you do anything, I am your ally. The Emperor. Ex Excuse me. Shit. A mind flare. The Guild Yankee is the source of our protection against the absolute. Oh. Enemy. I must subdue him. Or everything we've worked towards is lost. Don't let my form deceive you. Uh, I am the one that's been. I knew it was something nefarious. I am the one that came to you. I only because recently, right? The way Me. the way she talked about. Um, the mind flare, like the way she spoke, almost in awe of it, and how it was like, like she thought it was, it was like weird, right? That um, that mere mortals could control an elder brain. It was just little things. It was little things in the tone, and I was like, hmm. Um, prove to me you are who you say. You saved a child from a viper back in the druid's grove. You saved the Asim Night Song. From her soul cage. Your continued existence as yourself and not a mind flayer should be all the proof you need. Okay, this is wild. Now, help me. And the fact that she was telling me to stick the worms in my brain, she's like, you should do that. And I'm like, I don't know how I feel about that, you know? Um, try to detect the mind flayer's thoughts. Sure. We're in. We are in dire circumstances. Is Halston not with me? Or can he not give me... Oh, sweet, I did it by myself. Uh, I, he, can't, he couldn't give me guidance, I guess, while he's in a panther or saber form. Despite your best attempts to be subtle, the Mind Flayer's awareness is everywhere. You blunder in its presence like a walk pup learning to... Listen, drink. listen, that's all I've got. <laughs> I am telling you my thoughts directly into your head. Yeah, listen, oh, uh, you know? But if you insist on taking a look for yourself, be my guest. Listen, I'm sorry, I have to know. Nothing in your colorful existence to date could have prepared you for Also, this. like, how are you not controlled by an elder brain? Subsides, you are left with only one coherent thought. You must do whatever you can to subdue. Ooh, the that was okay. So this, it, the decision's been taken out of my hands. Now, join me. Fight. Oh, this is a big decision to make. This thing has been keeping me alive. Why? The thing is, though, I bet you we could probably have Orpheus help us without being forced to. But this thing has kept me alive, and I feel like I think I would free Orpheus, but I think my character would 
feel an obligation towards somebody who has kept her alive, who's oh she owes her life to, essentially. But like, and I, I, if we didn't have any, if we didn't have that other example of the illithid down in the underdark, who was his own mind, uh, or its own mind, I guess I don't have gender. Um, I wouldn't believe this. I wouldn't believe this at all. Um, but obviously, there's a very powerful illithid to like have manipulated its form in my head and I guess it makes sense right there's an illithid because it was a worm in my head but that was part of the prism so this illithid is trapped in the prism why is the illithid trapped in a prism or or was the illithid just in the prism keeping Orpheus in this prism so that we could and that, because some of the illithids do want to, like, keep, stay separate, right, from the elder brains. So this is how this illithid has been able to stay separate from the elder brains. And it's not, like, under their compulsion. Fascinating. Ah. Oh. And I guess it would be, like, a fight for your life, you know? It's like, well, if I... In this moment, you'd be thinking, like, as, as terrible as it is to keep somebody imprisoned, like, especially somebody who seems like a good person, potentially, then, oh, that's rough, that's rough. They seem like a good person, and you don't want someone to serve you unwillingly, or to help you unwillingly, you know? If it was me, I'd save Orpheus, but I think... I think she's gotta go. I think she's she's torn, but I think, especially after that assault on her mind, I think she's definitely gonna be leaning more towards. Ah, oh, leaning towards the mind flare. What a thing to say. Together, we can turn the tide. I gotta. Ah, I don't know if it's a good idea. Sorry, I'm gonna look at the journal really quick. So, sacrificing his own vampire spawn. Okay. Gail wants to learn more about the Netherese. I feel like that conversation, I feel like I didn't handle it like super well, but like, I, I was trying, you know, but it's hard to tell sometimes what the intent is. Defeat the Gishra and defend the rogue Illithid. So, it is a rogue Illithid. Okay, we are- n none of the Githyanki are gonna like us. Volo has become a most loyal ally. Oh, okay, interesting. Halston is grateful for our help. Okay. Oh, what is this, freaking... Mass Effect 3, destroy the brain, control the brain. Or maybe we all just come together and we all freaking... What is the, oh my gosh, the middle route in three, uh, it's the one I picked. What is it? Uh, I can't think of it now. The one where everybody comes together and they can all reach each other's minds and everything's great and wonderful and dandy. Thousands of kingdoms at our command. Anyway, I'm, I've done it. I'm in it to win it. Where... We are not going to be close enough. This feels bad, but also like I can't. I can't. Covered. She can't. My character can't. Like I don't know. Oh, the mind flayers are going to help us. How nice. Or the little what little guys. Yeah, these guys are going to be wicked hard. Oh, we are not in a good spot either. Oh, good. We have resonating key. Whatever. Aww. Oh my gosh. Cool. We get to blow up. Love that. Love that for to us. Uh, at least we won't kill Orpheus. Ow. Ow. Do I... I need to get well up there. Nope, dang it. <laughs> I was hoping maybe I could do it. I can't push that. I was gonna try to push, but I can't. Destroy the honor guard. I mean, I feel bad about it. Where are you going? Ah, 
how, why, oh, if you knock me off into the abyss, lady, we are gonna have issues. I'm gonna have them roll with advantage on these things. As long as it... I hope this doesn't do it for my own people. It does. <laughs> okay, well that was dumb. Then that was dumb. Oh my gosh, this person has so much health. Oops! That is... That's not what I wanted to do. I'd heard rumor that there was gith ambushes that were really tough. And I don't think it was the regular gith ambushes. I think it must be these monk gith. Yeah, well, if you could do something, that would be... Okay, good, finally. Oh, he just brought us back. Well, that was cool, but don't push me off, please. She came back really fast. Okay, well, she's only dominated for how long? Oh, she undid it because she's a gift Yankee. She can do that. Ha <laughs> uh, I'm doing so much damage, but I... Oh, I need more than that. Oh. oh, there's still the one guy up there. Oh, no. I'm actually gonna move her away in case there's like an explosion thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yep, yeah. the explosion. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you heal us again? That'd be sick. Or you could just miss your heal? Oh no, he healed himself. How nice. How nice for him to do that. Um. I, I don't know if I have enough damage to do this. She has 18 health. I'm so, I was so close. No. Jeez, these guys, their whole set of attacks is ridiculous. Oh! I'm just gonna scream a little. They, they get to like undo the mind domination, which makes this guy super duper duper useless. The, uh. I haven't used really the like sacrificing six meters of movement to like get an increased damage oh, like or at least roll double on damage right and uh, that was useful it seems like I did a lot of damage to her anyway if the illithid gets shoved off the edge I'll scream Keep you alive, my darling. Even if it causes me pain. Oh yes, I'm loving all the reactions I get to do. It only worked once, but you know what? I think I can make it through this bit. If you could re and do something with this guy, that would be super great. If you get shoved off and this is all for naught, I will never forgive you. Oh, now I could use the, the fire thing. 
The shield blow is actually working really well on these, on the gith. The gith monks. Um, actually, ooh, I should have summoned Scratch, because Scratch can do some stuff. I think. I love Hellish Rebuke. I was really hoping to push him off. Did you just, oh, I was like, did you just hit my guy? But you didn't. We good. Look, oh, I'm sorry. I Thank you. That was too feel close. really bad. I personally feel really bad. Don't look at me like that. I am a mind flayer. Yes. Without me, you would be a slave to the absolute. By the living gods. No more visions, no more lies. I expect answers. Now. Hmm. I always suspected you were my flair. No. I prefer the other version of you. Thank you. I think that's all I, like, yeah. I do want to say this at least. Like, that's the whole reason we helped is because you, I owe you my life. So thank you for that. If I'd known you would be so open-minded, I would have saved myself a lot of effort. But I'm glad you're not. I mean, no. Initially, no. It's like I said before, I'm just. Like I would not have trusted you. You know what I mean? An adventurer. Oh! I came from <gasps> you kept your soul. I was never one to be constrained by circumstance. I longed for more. That longing brought me to Moonrise Towers. On a search for treasure. To a colony of mind flayers who caught me. Changed me into what I am now. But so you kept your soul and your memories. For years, I served the Elder Brain. The one you know as the Absolute. I was a thrall like any other. But I was fortunate. I broke free and started a new life in my old city. How did you break free? I sustained myself on criminals. Unglamorous, but there are plenty of them. Rarely missed. And they fueled me while I did my work. Ew. Ew. I had the good fortune to meet Duke Stelmay. We formed a partnership. And through her, I became the governing force behind the Knights of the Shield. The largest mercantile operation in Baldur's Gate. Interesting. People referred to me as the Emperor. Such was my influence. Though of course they had no idea what I really Even was. Even when looking at your hands? My needs were sated. I was happy for a while. Until my true nature was discovered by the tyrant himself, Lord Gortash. He tore me from my home. And brought me back to the brain, where I became a slave once again. A slave he continued to call me Emperor. What happened to the Duke lady? The name was intended as a slight. To remind me of the heights from which I fell. But I have grown fond of it. It encapsulates well who I've become. Turning it back around, yeah. Okay, so, wait, so timeline, timeline, um, how long has the Absolute been doing stuff, been doing shenanigans? Like, it seems like this guy was supposed, like, a hundred years ago, right? When the Moonrise Towers was still, like, happy-go-lucky, so they've been doing this for, like, a hundred years? This whole Absolute thing, and only now are they really starting to, like, go gung-ho? Or no, he was turned... Yeah, he was turned into... Or he was turned yeah. into... A mind flayer. But it said it served the absolute, not just any elder brain. And... But this guy also acted surprised when it was like... It was like, oh, the absolute is an elder brain. Oh, wow. And I was like... 
But then, you, I mean, now I'm like, okay, you would have known that if, if you, you know what I mean? Like, you would have known that the Absolute was an elder brain. Uh, the Gideon Key in the Sphere, who is it? I mean, I know who it is, but I want to talk about him. Prince Orpheus, son of the first leader of the Githyanki. His power has been the source of your continued protection against the voice of the Absolute. The power to disrupt hive mind communication. Makes sense he'd have it that. It is the same power that enabled Orpheus' his mother to bring about the fall of the Elithid Empire eons ago. A power she passed on to him and that I leveraged for you. When Orpheus' his mother left, a usurper took her place. Blackheath declared herself queen of the Githyanki. Blackheath wanted his power, but Orpheus rose against her, and so she sealed him and his honor guard. Oh, that's who he's been. Bound it's been by fighting. Infernal chains, Orpheus could never leave. Bound by duty, his guard never would. They were close to breaking my home on that prince, and if they had succeeded. I am relieved. You have embraced your potential enough that you could help me eliminate them. I feel really Alone, bad. Orpheus will be much easier to control. I feel really bad about this. This is. I bet you if we'd have freed Orpheus, he would have helped us. And now I'm like, oh, but this is the path I have chosen. Ugh. I wonder what, um, what's her name? Lizelle would have said. Also, Lazelle probably would have been like, no, you can't. You can't, because we were supposed to try to help Orpheus, right? Like, Voss wants us to help Orpheus. Oh my gosh, this is getting convoluted. Uh... Oh, I want to ask both of these. Were you imprisoned here, too? No. God has sent me on a mission to retrieve the astral prison. I was one of many. But the first to find it. How Gortash or the other chosen learned of its existence, I do not know. Well, if he knew that it could block. The moment I found yeah. it, I felt it change. My free will returning. I followed the feeling inside and found Orpheus. I realized what the prison was for containment. While my body was within the prison's bounds, my mind was free. I could resist the Elder Brain, the Chosen. Better yet, I could plan to overthrow them. All I needed to do was subdue Orpheus and find allies in the outer world. You. Ha <laughs> This is complicated. I'm so torn. I'm pretty sure she would have sided with him simply because it protected her, but like at the same time her sense of justice is like, we are like, this is really bad, and we were wanting to meet Orpheus, and like talk with him, and like, ah, uh, now we can't. Lizelle's probably gonna be like freaking out. So the she's not here. Was it you or Orpheus that Blacketh wanted us to kill when she ordered us inside the prison? Most certainly Orpheus. He is a threat to her reign. Some Githyanki still revere him in defiance of their teachings. Blackith was safe as long as they believed him to be dead. But as you can see, he is very much alive. She kept him this way because she was reluctant to eradicate such power. Power that she might one day wish to take from him. If the Githyanki ever find out what she has done, there will be civil war. Blackith. I'm pretty sure you can romance your guardian. Let me just throw that out there. I'm pretty sure there's a route in Act 3 where you can romance your guardian. And let me just say, I'm not, I, I'm like, I love, the, the person I picked for this one was pretty bland. I've made some very gorgeous guardians on the off chance I do end up romancing them a little bit. And I'm, uh, if this is what I get in the end, I'm not, listen, I'm not upset he's spaghetti. Listen, listen. It's, it's, in, this is interesting. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I'm pretty sure you would romance somebody, not in this form, your guardian, not in this form, but in the form that they, um, 
that they take. Because why else would you spend so much time making them look nice, you know? But I knew the Guardian had not, sorry, I circled Orpheus and I'm like, oopsie. But I knew the Guardian, like, I tried to make my Guardian, for all my characters, look like somebody that w my character would trust. So I usually picked someone of, like, the same race just because, like, it would be easier, right? You're like, okay, like, you understand me on a certain level. You know what I mean? Like, there's, like, a subconscious relaxing around, like, somebody who probably has, like, the same or a very similar like upbringing kind of or like understanding of like your cultural background you know so anyway the one i made for this one wasn't super nice but like hey man the illithids are not unattractive like i don't know if that makes me that probably that definitely marks me out as a weirdo but that's fine there's something appealing about them i don't know uh Anyway, I say all that while Orpheus is, like, hanging in the background. I'm sorry, brother. I'm so... I am sorry. Me, personally, I am sorry. My character also conflicted, but... Uh, what happens if we free Orpheus? That would be a terrible idea. But... The moment he is free, he will attack you. Your only defense would be to kill him. And in so doing, he would do But well, how do you know that? Even though he is subdued, oh. you feel Orpheus's revulsion. Oh. Pulsing hatred that cannot be contained. Okay, all right. The Emperor is telling the truth. To him, you are just another wretched illithid. Oh, okay. As far as Orpheus is concerned, you are already a illithid. A sworn enemy. Just like And he's probably so frustrated, he thinks I'm being manipulated. And maybe I am, but like... Uh... The more I talk to you, the less you seem like... His tone, his cadence does seem very different. Or her? Her? I don't know. He has a very masculine voice, so now I'm referring to him as he. But, like, I made her a girl. But illithids don't have gender, so it's an it? A they? Uh, the more I talk to you, the less you seem like a mind flayer. I don't know if that's offensive or not. It probably is. I appreciate that. But this is what I am. My original body was destroyed when I transformed. When I first escaped the Elder Brain, I searched for a new vessel. But the longer I inhabited this one, the more it grew. Is that why you you think I'm gonna I like being one? Returning to my former self would only impose limitations. It would also let you socialize. Any advantage I could gain by restoring my original appearance, I already had to hand in the form of magic and that humanoid shape you've come to know. As an Alithid, I have far surpassed who I ever was before. You too can embrace this. No! Age. No! Uh, no. I'm trying to avoid becoming a Mind Flayer. I thought you agreed to protect me. I believe we'll have a better chance of defeating the Elder Can I turn into an Illithid? your latent Alithid potential. Oh my gosh. I've been studying you for a while now. I believe I can trigger the next stage of your Tenkhold's no. life cycle while continuing to preserve your independence. No. You have seen what I can do. You did Imagine nothing! Imagine yourself with the same strength, the same intelligence, the same devastating beauty. I am if you let me, beautiful. I can evolve. I'm good, thanks. I will, um, I will, I will help you. I will appreciate the things you've done. I know. Uh, if you can evolve me, why can't you stop staring my forces altogether? The answer is twofold. One, I can, but it would kill you. As I told you before. Oh, removing the parasite? Two, why would I? You have done well, the limited form you have. But you would do far better as an elite. I have a character. So, do you wish to evolve or not? Who will probably want to do this, but I am not. I am, no, no. No. I understand. Let us hope then that your present self will be sufficient to deal with three gods of death and a giant magically enhanced elder. I mean, I'm doing okay. But in case you change your mind. Oh boy. A ghost worm. Look after it. Use it when you're ready to evolve. You know, I have like 12. You or your allies. It has vitality enough for you all. 
Oh. We, lose focus. we need to resume our journey. Oh. You heard the chosen. The brain has gone to the city, and the army marches to fall. Somebody else could do we it. Must not let them reach it. We must find the brain and bring it under our control. Astral touch tadpole. You know, I wonder if um. Well, who was I thinking? Asterian would want that. This has been fascinating. Oh, thank you. Ugh. We killed his honor guard also. Like, there's no way. There's no way he would be like, yeah, it's cool. You know? Divine bone shard. Come on, darling. Wake up. We'll go back to camp. Uh, and take a nap. Or get, rather, um, what's his name? Seems back. Get us, get Halson back. The orb hums with cerebral magic. Permeable. Impenetrable. Man, I do. Well, then it. Oh. The Yankee prince is as silent as a corpse. But for the murmur of his powers being so That has to be a horrendous existence. Ugh. I I do. Inscribed get Yankee. I knew there had to be something. Uh two figures, one an imposing female from regal aspect, the other a devil. His face twisted with wry charm. Their hands meet in the exchange of an artifact, the astral prison. Oh, so Vlacketh got this astral prism from a demon, which is why the bonds are infernal. And that's how she imprisoned... What's his name? Orpheus. I'm so confl I'm super mega conflicted about this. I'm not gonna change it, but it is like... It's just like, oh my gosh. Yeah. <sighs> And I was like, what's what's my Illithid's plan? You know, for like overthrowing everything? Does the Emperor wish to... I mean, they were like controlling things in Baldur's Gate from like... The... like the shadows, and they enjoyed that. They want to try to do that again? But I can't see them wanting to like inflict Illithidness on everybody without... I mean, it's giving me a choice, you know? But also, apparently I can give the Illithid the astral illithid to anybody and they could use it? Or would we all have to use it? Yikes. Well, let's go back. What? I don't know. Oh! Virtual, vitriol of divine miasma. Cool. I mean, I'll save really quick in case there's something I need to do here, but... We need to get we need to get Halson back, so we need to go back to camp. Hopefully, Halson's not lost in the astral plane. Withers, Withers, I've been to some places, and people do be lost. And oh, I was like, what are you doing back here, man? We have so many. We should talk to Lazelle about him. <laughs> Yeah, we already did that. Help your protector. Okay, I am a terrible person. Uh huh. Discover the history of Prince Orpheus. We just relegated him to a completed quest. Unfortunate. Quest completed. Shut up. No, I don't want to do that. Kithrag Vosky, the Yankee Knight, plan to meet someone at Shiras's crest who knows how to free Orpheus. Ha <laughs> ha, that's probably gonna be harder now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, where are you? What's his name? Withers. And with that, we'll go ahead and cut it off there. This is, again, just sort of the generic outro I'm doing while I'm in Italy. Uh, some of these episodes will be a little shorter. Some of them will be a little longer. Uh, but I did my best just trying to make sure I had enough while I was going to be gone. 
Um, but I hope you all enjoyed the episode. And really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, including my Acorn Tier patrons. Thank you so much, Fame, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Galito, my Sapling Tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my Forest Tier patron, who has gone above and beyond in his support of me and the channel and who I truly cannot thank enough. So thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.